Hey Tarot Tribe, it's Dustin from A Modern Metaphysic Man, and today I thought we could hang out and take a trip through the efflorescent tarot. Um, so this deck is a independently published deck um, by a woman named Peony Archer who has an Etsy shop, and I'll be sure to link it in the description below so you can check it out. Um, she has several different uh, versions of this deck, another tarot deck, and um, a couple, one or two or oracle decks, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but her illustrations are just so beautiful. Um, it is um, an amazing deck, and I can't wait to share it with you. Um, so it comes in this two-part box, which is a nice little box. It's almost like a little gift box, which is cool. Um, it has uh, the efflorescent tarot on the front, and then on the back it has just a little um, description and uh, uh, definition of the word efflorescent. So the efflorescent tarot is a fully illuminated deck in the Rider White tradition, illustrated by Peony Archer. It contains 78 cards from the tarot, both minor and major arcana, and is intended to bring light and daily paths, uh, bring light to the daily paths of our life, lives. Like any good story, it provides a path between our inner selves and the outside world. Um, this deck is printed in a small family press in Minnesota and assembled with much care in Peony's Kitchen. For more information about this deck, check out um, peonyarcher.com. So I'll be sure to link that below. So yeah, um, let's open this up. So the backs have this beautiful design. Um, the cards are very glossy. So if you're not a fan of glossy decks, um, be warned. They are very glossy, but it is a nice gloss. Um, it's very well done, actually. It doesn't feel waxy, and it doesn't feel super slippery. Um, there is just a little pad of um, fabric in the bottom. There's nothing in the top. Um, but yeah, the cards are on this really nice, thick cardstock. It is super thick, and as you can see, there is a gloss to them. Um, but it's nice, and I think it works well for the deck. Um, so let's get to the flip through. Um, Size-wise, they are larger than a standard tarot card. Um, so we have here, for comparison, the um, Witch's Tarot published by Llewellyn. So as you can see, it's quite a bit wider and a little bit taller. Take a stroll through the efflorescent tarot. Now this is the colored version. There is a version that comes in just black and white. Um, so, you know, you can sort of pick and choose whatever you prefer. I loved her artwork and her coloring. Um, so this is the version of the deck that I chose. Um, so we've got our full card and it's very traditional RWS. Um, you'll see through this deck, it follows RWS pretty much to a T. But I love, I love her art style. It's very whimsical. It has um, almost this, um, I don't know, almost an Alice in Wonderlandy kind of feel to it. Um, it reminds me a lot of art that was on fantasy novels that I read, you know, in the 90s for some reason, in the late 80s, um, but I love it. Empress of the High Priestess. The Emperor. The Hierophant. Lover's card, our chariot, strength, our hermit, great hermit card, our wheel of fortune, and I love how these three figures in this wheel are just kind of like chilling. Um, on the top of the wheel and then you have these hands in the water that are reaching out like oh my gosh save me um, it's really 
It's a really interesting depiction, and it's a water wheel, right? Justice. And our hanged man. Death. So no number on uh, any of these cards, which is um, which is cool. It's fine by me. Just a very simple font, I think, in her own hand, which is great. Temperance. All of her figures do have a little bit of a somber look to them, um, which I enjoy. The devil, the tower. I love the waves here. Star. Moon. The sun. And judgment. It's a very interesting depiction of judgment, you know, instead of the traditional angel. This is probably the one that deviates from the RWS the most, in my opinion. That and the devil card are, are very different, um, but this one really stood out to me world. We have our Ace of Pentacles, and a two, and a three, four, and five, six, Seven, eight. I love this eight of pentacles where she's painting. Nine and ten. I love the lanterns and the trees. Page. Queen and King. We have our Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three, Four. Six, seven, and our eight, nine, and ten. We have a page. It's got the. I like that the fishbowl is in um, her arm. Knight, our queen, and our king with cat hair, <laughs> the ace of wands, two, three, or four. Five, a duel. Six, very traditional. Seven, on the higher ground. Eight, I love the inclusion of the road here. Um, and it is interesting to me that the the wands are coming down. I always, it's always interesting to me to look at the <clears throat> eight of wands and see which direction the artists choose to depict the movement, right? Whether it's you're going up or you're coming down. Because um, it's a very, it, it almost changes the meaning of the card in some capacity to me, whether or not they depict them like this or if they depict them going up into the sky. <clears throat> Nine and 10. 
looking for a page of wands. Our knight. Our queen. And our king. And we're gonna get some swords. Two of swords. In the daytime, this instead of the night, which is an interesting choice. Our three. And our four at rest. Five. And six. No one's helping her row her boat, <clears throat> which is um, an interesting sort of difference between this and right away. I always enjoyed the fact that there was someone helping to row the sort of, you know, figure and child away from all the shit. <laughs> um, and in this one, there's no one helping. You know, they're, they're doing it on their own. Seven. And eight. Nine. And ten. This ten is so powerful. Page, our knight, our queen, and our king. So yeah, that is the efflorescent tarot. Um, it is, it's a wonderful deck. It's such a good reader. Um, I've done some sort of deck interviews with it, and. Um, a couple of other small readings with it and it's just very it's very grounded it feels like a very grounded deck um i actually think i'm gonna switch um to this deck uh probably in january for my daily reading because i switch my my daily draw decks uh once a month right now it's the um witch's tarot <laughs> Um, you can always tell what my daily draw deck is because it's whatever card I use to uh, size comparison with um, often. But um, yeah, I think this would be a great daily draw deck. Um, it's a stunning deck. Check it out. There are a couple different versions. Like I said, there is a black and white version and um, she does have an oracle deck um, and another tarot deck that I will more than likely be getting um, somewhere down the road. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the Alpharescent Tarot. Um, make sure to check out my uh, new series of videos, Tarot Tips, which are just little blo uh, blobs, <laughs> blurbs about uh, different ways to read the tarot um, and things like that. They're quick, they're fun. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback on them. Um, be sure to like and subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Um, as always, remember, everyone is fighting a battle you know nothing about, so be kind, always. Have a great day, everybody.